Yo, what is good, peoples? Welcome to the Unsaw My CD Collection. It's part 111. Um, let's get right to it, all right? Um, now, it's a continuation of part 110, but I'm bringing it to two parts. So instead of calling it 110 part 2, I'm just going to call it 111. So it make things a lot easier. All right, so without further ado, I'll show you guys the first song of the video. Um, KMD with their second album, Black Bastards, was released in 1994. Um, the story with this album is that it was supposed to come out in 1994, but um, it got shelved due to the um, the Sambo being lynched. That artwork is very controversial, you know, understandably, you know what I mean? Um, KMD, you should know KMD, uh, that was uh, MF Doom's old group. Uh, before that, he went by Zevlock X, um, and he had his brother Sub Rock, who um, died during the making of this album. I think it's like during the making or after the making of the album. Uh, he died in a car accident. Um, so it's recipes of Sub Rock. Um, you know, Curious George, you know, was affiliated with these guys as well. Uh, you know, MC Search and you know people like that. Um, very, very, very dope album. Uh, this is actually the 2015 reissue. Um, in my opinion, this is the best way to own the album. Uh, because they had released it, um, it didn't come out uh, publicly until like 2001, um, but it only comes with the, the original disc. This one comes with two discs, which is lovely. Um, the first disc, it comes with the first CD, and then you got the second disc, which comes out with, um, it's like, you know, like the B-sides, um, you know, the demo version of certain songs, um, remixes, um, instrumentals of some of the songs and stuff like that. So very, very dope. The single of this album is What A Nigga Know or What A Nigga Know. Um, but it's What A Nigga Know. Love that song. Very dope. The remix MF Grimm. Man. Woo! MF Grimm is that dude, man. I love that dude, man. But um, nonetheless, very, very dope album. Very raw, very gritty. Um, you know, like I said, this is before... MF Doom became, Zev Love X became MF Doom, so, um, if you expect an MF Doom type stuff, I'm not saying you won't be disappointed, because they kind of, the stuff that he does, like, it's kind of like animated, in a sense, but the the sound quality might be a little put offish for them, for some people, because, you know, it's very raw and gritty, so, um, it wasn't really mixed very well, but it adds to the charm of the songs, if that makes sense. I love this song, man. I love this album. Uh, get You Now, very dope. What a nigga know. Love that joint. Um, Sweet Premium Wine. Woo! Love that joint. Uh, Contact Blit. Um, Fuck What You Heard. Woo! Love that joint, man. Very dope album. I highly recommend it. And it's funny because when you talk to Doom fans, you know, they rarely talk about KMDs. days. Either because they don't know about KMD or they don't give a fuck about that shit. It's pr quite sad because without this, you won't have no MF Doom. So... I think it's only right that this album's like this and Mr. Hood was I do have in my collection. I saw that a couple of years ago. Um, people should know about those albums. So, but um, yeah, Black Bastards with uh, KMD, um, released in 1994. All right, like I said, this is a 2015 reissue. This came out of Metal Face Records, which is MF Doom's record label. So very dope shit right here. Best way to own the album, in my opinion. Next album, I'm so glad I got this album. I'm so glad. I don't know why I slept on it, but better late than never. It is uh, Brian Green with um, One Stop Carnival, released in 1986. Yes, this is the same Brian Green from um, Beverly Hills 90210. Don't be put off by that. You know what I mean? People might laugh at me for this, but this shit is fire. This shit is fire, fire, fire. Um... There's a couple singles of the album. The singles are um, You Send Me, which that was a single. Um, let me see what else. Uh, yeah, You Send Me, That's Right. Those are the two singles of the album. You Send Me, there's a video for that. Very dope song. Um, standout tracks for this album are um, You Send Me, 1, 2, 3, Styles, Style Is It. I love that joint. Um, on YouTube, there's actually... Um, there's actually a um, like a live performance of him performing at some TV show. I think I want to say Soul Train. I, I I could be wrong about that, but um yeah, Style is it very dope. Um let me see, Mind and the Body, very dope song. Beauty and the Beats, whoo! I love that joint. 
I want to give a big shout out to my dude Rudy Bodoya, um, because I knew about this album, but then when he played me a couple of songs off this album, I was like, yo, this shit is fire. So I gotta give a big shout out for that, and that song Beauty and the Beats, he put me onto that song. I was like, oh shit, because I kind of forgot about this album, not gonna lie. But then he played this shit, and I was like, yo, I have to get this album, so I had to get my hands on that. So yeah, getting back to this song, um, Beauty and the Beats, very dope. Um, very dope song. You sent me the jazz mix. Very dope. Um, Ecstasy and Do You Want to Do. Very, very dope album. Um, what's interesting about this album, um, the production was done by Slim Kid Trey, Slim, Slim Kid Trey and uh, DJ LAJ of The Far Side. Um, so you already know they got their hands all over the productions. They do They do the production. I believe um, Will I Am, but at the time he went by Will I X. Um, he did, I think like he did a beat on this song as well. And everybody knows that, you know, Slim Clint Trey was doing the, the ghostwriting on this album. But nonetheless, he, the way he delivered was very dope. Um, production wise, if you guys like Far Side's Lab Cab in California, then you will definitely enjoy this album. I highly recommend this album. Please give it a chance. Stop being ignorant because, okay, yo, he's from, he's from 902, oh, Beverly Hills 90210, but, but yo, like, you guys are really missing out, you know what I mean? Like, he's not the best lyricist in the world, but it, he's he, he can rhyme, he can spit, you know what I mean? Even though it was gross written, but the way, like I said, the way he delivered is really, really dope. So, I highly recommend you guys give this a chance, man. Um, like I said, if you like that Far Side production, that mid-90s Far Side production, a.k.a. Um, Henson Point, Lab Cal in California, then I think you'll definitely enjoy this album. Uh, this is the One Side Carbon no Carnival by Brian Green, released in 1996. Very dope album. Might be it's a little hard to find, but it's not too expensive, so um, you get it for a decent price. Next album, glad I got my hands on this shit, man. I've been trying to get it. Well, yeah, I've been trying to get it, but I haven't really got to it. But I finally got it. Thank God, I got it for a great price. It is a hood rash for sneaky motherfuckers. Released in 1993, this is their only album that they dropped. Um, Hood Rats being from South Jamaica, Queens, home of um, you know um, Pharrell Monch, Prince Poe, um, Organized Confusion. Might as well say that or um, Onyx and stuff like that. And speaking of Onyx, their whole steez is just like Onyx, you know, like very in your face, back the fuck up type of steez, you know, on this album. Uh, the singles off this album are Bootlegged, which there's a video for. Murdered over nothing. I love that joint. That beat, whoo, man, very fucking dope. Um, standout tracks for me, I would have to say, are, um, Bootlegger, Rolling with the Pack, uh, Murdered over nothing. Love that joint. That that baseline for that shit is so fucking dope. Um, Sneaky motherfucker, the self-titled track, Had a Bad Day, uh, two sixteen ninety three, <laughs> very dope. Nah, 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 I love the beat for that, that's very fucking dope, um, yeah, dope album, like I said, if you guys like Onyx is Back the Fuck Up, then you would definitely enjoy this album, you know what I mean, obviously, Back the Fuck was a lot better than this album, but like I said, if you like that, if you like Back the Fuck Up, I think you'll like this album as well, definitely Onyx influence, I don't care what nobody says, you know, you can call them straight biters, but fuck it, it's dope, I like it, it's all in fun, um, this is like the only album they dropped, and I'm pretty sure they caught a lot of flack because of that. Because Onyx was doing that back in '92 with Doja Guns, and they come out with this, and they're from the same hood. Like, yeah, so they caught a lot of flack. So probably why you didn't get a lot of albums from them. But nonetheless, very dope album, dope early '90s hip hop, '93 hip hop. I swear, like '93 has to be like the year of the Roughnecks because you know you got you know Queen Latifah, Black Rain. You had MC Light with um, Ain't No Other, which I think is very slept on. Um, what else? UMCs with Unleashed, which I need to get my hands on. Dots Effects with Straight Up Suicide. You know, countless other albums, man. But um, nonetheless, man, Sneaky Motherfuckers by Hood Rats, released in 1993. Very dope shit. Next album. So glad I got this album. Been trying to get this for well, let me say trying to get it, but I'm just glad I have it. Got it for a great price. Finally got my hands on it. Is uh Tupac with Are You Still Down released in 1987. Very, 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 
very, very dope album. I love this album, man. Definitely one of his best. To me, the best posthumous album that he dropped in his career, in my opinion. Because obviously he died in 96, but uh, that, that was released. You know what I mean? Very dope album. What I love about this album... Um, a lot of the songs, the songs that he recorded between Strictly for my, like during like the Strictly for my niggas era, and um, the Thug Life sessions, you know, around that time. So pretty much from like '93 to '94. So these are pretty much the songs that you get from that. Um, and what's cool about it is not like most of them are in their original form, like meaning that they didn't change the beats. You know, they didn't like like they did on the later albums, which I fucking hate. Um, but there's a couple of songs that were remixed and stuff like Hellraiser. That was um that was remixed because there was an original version for that joint. I wish the original version for that was on that on that song. But most of these were untouched, you know what I mean? But there's a couple of songs um that were like, you know, the beat was like a little bit more modern, you know, they modernized the beat, you know, from like ninety six, ninety seven because most of the production, like I said, was recorded a lot of these songs were recorded around like ninety two to ninety four, you know what I mean? So um but yeah, very dope album. I love this shit right here. Um, the singles off this album are I wonder if a, I wonder if a Heaven Got a Ghetto. That's a single off the album and um, Do for Love. Very dope song right there. Uh, to me, standout tracks for me are Open Fire. Love that joint. Um, are you still down? Love that. Doug Style. Very dope. Uh, nothing to lose. Love that. Love. Let them things go. Definition of a Doug Nick, which was supposed to be on the Doug Life album. Uh, let's see what else. Um, Hold on, be strong. When I get free too. Oh my God, I love that song. He killed that shit. I love that song. That shit is fire. And uh, Only Fear of Death, very dope song. I want to say Only Fear of Death was supposed to be on. Um, I want to say it was supposed to be on Me Against the World. Cause it sounded like something that was that would have been on that album. But, um, but yeah, overall dope album. If you want to get a project that's officially released and that he didn't and they didn't mess with the production, well they did, but um, they cleaned it up. But it's like studio quality, but it still sounds like it was like how it was recorded in '93, '94, or even '92. But um, and you got like a song or two that was like updated as far as production wise. Then this is what I'm gonna get because everything else, you know, they messed with the production. They because. And then you also gotta understand too, because a lot of that has to do with sample clearance too. Because you know, there's a lot of sample clearance. You know how it is. I, which I think sample clearance laws, I feel like, is the downfall of hip hop. Which is why you see a lot of bullshit out today. You know what I mean? But um, I think people are slowly going back to the production, um, the sample based production. You know what I mean? But um, that's why a lot of songs like you have. He has a, a whole bunch of unreleased songs because a lot of them um, have samples and they couldn't clear the sample you know because it's Pac and you know people didn't want to be associated with that so that's kind of that's that's my theory of why um, you know you didn't get too many because he could have put out a whole bunch of albums because you know Pac he's known to record very fast and um, that kind of thing man but um, but yeah nonetheless man dope album glad I own it um, very dope. You can get it for dirt cheap, and like I said, if you like old Pac, and you know what I'm saying, like I do, like my favorite era of Pac, in my opinion, are you know from '91 to '95. So this is like pre Death Row. You know what I mean? So Two Pacalypse Now, uh, Street for My Niggas, Dog Life, Me Against the World. Those that's the Pac. That's the era of Pac I love. That's just my personal opinion. This is Are You Still Down? Remember me. By Tupac released in 1997, recipes of Pop. And by the way, fuck all the haters that be hating on Pop too, man. Like that be like slandering Pop lately. That, I, I don't, I don't understand that shit. That shit is crazy. But enough of that. Um, the next album, I'm glad I got my hands on this, man. I've been trying to get this album for years, well, not years, but got it for a couple years. Trying to get it for a couple years. I want to give a big shout out to my guy, um, the cool one. Out of Chucktown, North Car- of South Carolina. Shout out to him. And it is Tear the Clubs Up by 36 Mafia. Tear the Club Up Thugs. Crazy in the Last Days, released in 1999. Woo! This shit is fire. This shit is crack. I love this album, man. I'm so glad that um, 
I got it. I want to give a big shout out to my dude, the, um, the cool one out of Chucktown. You know, he put me onto this because I've seen it before, and you know, I didn't think anything of it. Like, okay, it's a decent, you know, it looks cool. You know what I mean? But the way he explained it and stuff like that, you know, I'm just glad I own it. I finally got my hands on it. So glad I have it. And the production on this album is whoo fire. So. Crazy, um, the Taylor, Taylor, um, the Taylor Club of Thugs consists of three members. It's Three Six Mafia, you know, Juicy J, uh, DJ Paul, and um, Lord Infamous in the in the middle. Recipes to him, he's dearly missed. Um, all I have to say, a lot of people owe these motherfuckers a lot of money because a lot of artists today that's out now are biters. They, well, I don't say biters, but they're definitely influenced by. Um, D6 Mafia and their flow and the beats and stuff like that. So they definitely all these niggas checks and stuff like that. But um, the singles off this album, I want to say, uh, is um, Hypnotize. No, I'm sorry. Uh, where is that shit? Hypnotize Cash Money and Push Them Off. Those are the singles of the album. Um, the standout tracks for me are Who the Who the Crunk Is, Smoked Out, I'm Losing It. Oh my. God. God, that shit is so... The beat for that? Woo! So ill. So ill. My only grab with that is too damn short. That's my only grab with that. I'm losing it. Fire, fire, fire. I love that. Uh, Hypnotize Cash Money. Um, That was pretty dope. Um, Throw Your Sets. Very dope. Um, It was kind of like a remake of the original joint that was on the Live, Live By Your Rep. Um, Live By Your Rep. EP that they dropped in 95, this and Bone Thugs and stuff, that song was on that EP, so it's kind of like a, like a refreshed version of that song, very dope, you know, obviously the original is better, but this one is pretty dope too, um, let's see what else, um, uh, Wet Party, Get Buck, Get Wild, Paper Chase, Hypnotize Cash Money, I, was, I mentioned before, When God Calls Time Out. Big business is fire. Ooh, all dirty hoes. Triple Six Clubhouse, which I believe was on. Ah, uh, it was on a different. I know it was on one of the um, Profit Profit Posse releases. I just forgot which one. Um, one of the Hypn- Hypnotized Minds compilations. I forgot which one, but I believe that song was on that too. Um, let me see what else. Uh, a niggas was downfall. That shit is dope. Uh, Hypnotized Minds and Profit Posse. Um, yeah, pretty much the whole album is fucking dope, man. Production is very dope. And what I like about it is the fact that uh, they used a lot of, like, um, movie samples. Like, a uh, Sorry about that. Yeah, they use a lot of um, movie samples, you know what I mean, and soundtrack samples, you know what I mean, from you know underground movies. Like they sampled from um, Assault from uh, Precinct 13, one one of um, John Carpenter's um, one of John Carpenter's um, early movies from the 70s. But man, this album is fucking fire. If you like old DJ Paul, Juicy J production, Three Six Mafia production, like I do, excuse me. Then you'll definitely enjoy this. And it's comes with a bonus CD. Uh comes with six tracks. So I definitely got this one because um not all of them came with the, the with the second disc. One just came with the first disc and it comes with 24 tracks. So that's good enough. The bonus CD, you know, is good enough. So got my hands on that. So I'm I'm very happy to have that. So this is Taylor Clubhouse with Crazy in the Last Days released in 1999. Uh this goes for a little bit of money. Um, I forgot how much I paid for it, but it was it was a decent price, so I got it. But I'm um, glad I got my hands on that. Next album, it's gonna be a surprise to some people, but might as well bring it up. It is uh, Hangman Three, No Skits, Volume One, released in 2000. Uh, Hangman Three, for those who don't know, is a hip hop producer producer t- production team as a trio um, based out of Boston, known for their affiliation with um. Uh, Benzino, and but I know some of you guys don't like Benzino, I get it, you know what I mean, I'm not crazy about him either, but I respect him, you know what I mean, and, um, but the stuff that he put out in the 90s and that he was part of, it, it's fucking dope, like, the wise guys, almighty RSO, and speaking of those guys, um, this is pretty much like a producer's album, but you have dudes rapping over their beats, 
And a lot of people that's rapping over the beats are people from those groups that I mentioned, like Wise Guys and uh, Almighty RSO. Um, I think there was another group called the T Mob. T Mob, I think that's what I forgot the name. But um, pretty much it consists of all the members of that group, of those groups. And um, yeah, the production is pretty dope, man. I love the beats. Hangman hey, 3, you might not be familiar with the, the name, but. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with some of the songs that, we, um, that they produced for a couple of people. Um, they did the song Tommy Steam with uh, LOX and Made Man off the Belly soundtrack. And I believe that song was actually featured on Bad Boy, on um, the Money Power Respect album. I believe it was, or it was on the Made Man Classic Limited Edition album that dropped in 99. Um, I could be wrong about that, but it's I, I know it's on one of those two albums. Um, and they also did the song for Prodigy of the HNIC album of What You Rep with Noriega. So, you already know what you're getting yourself into. But this album right here is fire, man. The production is dope, very gritty, very dark. Not dark, but like street gritty. You know what I mean? Hip hop, gritty shit, East Coast shit. You know what I mean? So, like I said, don't let the Benzino affiliation, you know, stir you away from this album. But um, I'm, I'm telling you, it's fucking dope. Uh, the singles of, of this album is two singles. Holler Back, Holler Boston, which kind of has like a Rough Riders feel to it. Um, rap Star, All I Ever Wanted, very dope. Um, Stand Out Trust for me is Niggas Know, You Feel Me, High Noon, whew, I love that. Rap Star, Treason, Gun Squad, Never I Want to See. Pretty much the whole album was fucking dope, man. I highly recommend it. If you like underground, gangster shit, street shit, East Coast, late 90s street gangster shit from the East Coast, Look for no further, this is fucking dope. Dope Boston hip hop right here. Hangman 3, No Skits Volume 1, released in 2000. It's out of print, but you can get it for dirt cheap, which is great. Next album. Whew, so glad I have it. I had the original version of the album, but I didn't. I gave it away, so I had to get it. And I think this is the best way to own this album. And the album is this. Purple Rain. This is the deluxe edition. This is the 2017 reissue. Very fucking dope. This is the three disc. Let me turn on it. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. So, like I said before, this is um the deluxe edition. It comes with two disc. Um, the first this is obviously the original version is the remastered version sounds really great um, the second disc uh, comes with like you know like unreleased songs that were recorded during that era during the purple rain sessions that they make the album um, the third disc um, comes with like the single edits and the B size of the albums and stuff like that highly recommend that and then this comes with the DVD it's like the live performance from 1985 fucking dope I highly recommend this right if you want gonna own purple rain this is the best way to own it it's a little pricey but it's definitely worth the money um I seen it I got an FYE it was $37.99 but I it was on sale for like 20 something 99 I forgot the I think it was like I think it was I want to say it was like $24.99 but it was definitely worth it so I definitely had to get that it was $13 less cheaper so I thought I was pretty dope but um Finally got my hands on it. I'm so glad I have this shirt right here. So you're gonna own Purple Rain. This is the best way to own it. There's also a, a, a two disc version of this album, which I believe is just the the the, the unreleased joints and I want to say the B says. I'm not sure about that. But if you're gonna if you're gonna own this album, this is the best way to own it. That's just my personal opinion. Purple Rain by Prince and the Revolution released 1984. This is the sixth album. Recipes of Prince, man. All right. Next album, whoo, so glad I got my hands on this, um, yeah man, I love this joint, very, very dope, you know what I mean, I wanna give it a big, big shot, whoo, I'm just glad I got it, it is, a uh, Prodigy, with, um, the Hegelian Dialect Book 1, of the, the Book of Revelations, this is released in, uh, 2017, this is like his latest album, the last time he dropped, before he died, unfortunately, um, very dope album. The singles of this album are Tyranny and Motherfucking USA. I love that song, Motherfucking USA. That's 
probably like my favorite song of the album. Very dope album. Um, this is very different from Prodigy because you know he you know he kind of goes more to like um, the conspiracy theories. The, he talks about the occult. He talks about the Illuminati. But if you're a Mob Deep fan, you know that that's nothing new because he been talked about shit like that, especially on Hell on Earth. So um, but yeah, he but he goes more into depth with this album. You know what I mean? So but very dope. You know what I mean? I like it. Something different. Um, production is a little bit different too because there's some beats that has like trap influence, which is kind of weird. But he makes it work. You know, it's not my cu cup of tea, but you know, it kind of makes it work. You know what I mean? But um, standout tracks for me, I like Mystic, produced by Alchemist. That was pretty dope. Uh, Tyranny, which was the single. Um, Motherfucking USA, Snakes, um, The Good Right, Spiritual War, No Religion. Those are my first songs of the album. This is Prodigy, uh, Book One. Um, the Book of Revelation released in 2017 2017 um, from what I heard he has two others that he's supposed to drop um, hopefully they put them out I would love to hear them and yeah man pff, rest me to Prodigy he's definitely Holmes Out Hero is like I definitely look up to Prodigy I miss him like like there's no tomorrow like how people go crazy over you know certain artists that's how I feel about Prodigy last two alright is DJ Muggs with Soul Assassins 2, released in 2000. Um, love this album, very dope. Um, finally got my hands on this album. You know what I mean? Very, very, very dope. Um, there's uh, two singles off the album. The singles are Real Life with Kooji Rap, which, believe it or not, fellas, that's my first introduction to Kooji Rap. Because I remember I, I downloaded the video from Kazav back in the day. And um, I remember they played the video, they showed the video, so I thought that was pretty dope. And when the fat lady sings with Jizza, very dope song. Um, standout tracks for me is Real Life with Kooji Rap. This is something too with Goody Mob. Um, Heart of the Assassins with Chase Infinite, Kron Don, Phantom aka Don Chris, and Rascaz, very dope. And um, Raise It to Your Throat, very dope album. Um, to me, not as good as the first inst installation of Soul Assassins. Um, but it's still pretty good. Um, I got it for a decent price. This album goes for a little bit of money. Um, I got it brand new. Um, I got it off eBay. I got it for like 11 bucks, 11 and change. And I got it free, um, free shipping. And it's all wrapped up. So I'm glad I got that. But um, this is Soul Assassin um, by DJ Monks Part 2. released in 2000. It's out of print. And if you notice, it kind of has like the same cover as um, Cypress Hill's um, Skulls and Bones. So... So if you kind of see the similarity, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Uh, and last but not least, I want to give a big shout out to my dude, John Dixon. He blessed me with this joint right here. Um, South Central Cartel with In Gas We Trust, released in 1994. Uh, it features Havoc and Prodigy, not, no relation to uh, Mob Deep, uh, DJ Chaos, and a couple other people. The singles of this album are Server and Heat, 17 S Switches, and Gang Stories. Um... Overall, uh, I, I'm running out of time, but I'm just gonna go this. I'm gonna go through this a little quickly. But um, I like the album, but you know, I was a little disappointed with the album. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I think it was the production, cause the way they run was dope, but it was the production. A little bit of a letdown for me. Maybe I have to re-listen to the album, but I've only heard it once. But I was a little let down with the production. I just have to say that. But um, I'm gonna have to listen to it again. And um, yeah, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um. Definitely stay tuned. Um, thanks for watching. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Definitely stay tuned for more videos. Peace.